How's it going everybody? My name is Joe and I'm going to be reacting to Halo Season 2 Episode 5. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. John and Soren back together here. Basically the whole crew is here. Where's Werner? We gotta fall back! To where? <laughs> Come on, John. We need Get you. Me. No. Yep. Look at them. Oh, back. Are they retreating? Is that all you got? <laughs> oh, Not just like old times. <laughs> you guys have your armor. Ooh. Oh, brute down. That was me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> okay. What? How's <laughs> it get up? They're coming. Hurry up! Damn, Juan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Damn, alright. Man, if she gets left here. Oh, shoot. Okay, Riz. Come on, cover fire. Oh, it was so close. Terrible. He's a bit rich. No, Riz. Sever the connection. Please, will you help him? A key tearing up over that? Karino Juju Jinkanok Oga. Jano Metruks Upura. Kanacho. Hashank Oga. Ia Janok Emo with Aj. Don't wait. She gonna live? She needs surgery. I don't have the tools here. She went back because of me. Decide anything. We don't choose. <laughs> you taught us. You're not a machine. Because oh. real people have lives, families. <laughs> Let go. Tell me what you see. Is that a woman or a weapon? They left us down there. No armor. There's no way of telling how many escaped let alone who. How do they? Oh, People are reaching. They, they need me. No, a fever. You're not yourself. They knew her. And they did nothing. Reach hmm. wasn't an accident. It was a plan. It's we now. It always has been. I summon you in the name of the higher arcs, voices of the gods. Former Supreme Commander of the First Fleet of Sala Makori. What are you to him? <laughs> we work together. You talk in your sleep. You and my shit. <laughs> We're gonna get her help when we get on the ground. Alaria. Kessler's there. You stay with him at night. Panic. You need to talk to Halsey. He's your friend. This is a body. Have you got a sterile fuel generator? We have an operating room. I'm the surgeon. Not today. <laughs> Riz is gonna be all right. There. He's not gonna leave her. You might have heard the ground's poison. Well, it ain't. And I'll tell you where you can find it. Our son. He's ten years old, wears a helmet. People pay good money. Let's take a look. These last few days been a goddamn circus. This is him. Photograph him. Yeah. Boy, ten years old. Throw it on the floor. <laughs> it's time. Right. Back it. If we left him lying under a sheet, we have to bury him. Sorry, I can't help you. Why not? They've already said goodbye. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> now what? Screw you. You put them in the ground, or they will follow you. Well, we can't leave. Not ever. Yeah, but who'd want to, right? You're making friends and enjoying the scenery. We're looking for us. A whole planet. Does none of that touch you? When Ruby Ann came for us, it was all oh, of me. Whole song. <laughs> all right, positive. Do you remember what you said? Eyes. One out of three get hurt. But the damage is significant. or already diminished. You wait until night time we start doing this? That means you're just dragging this fool on the floor. 
damage accumulates. Riz will live and she will fight again. It was Berengarski. About who dictates how this war is fought. She won. I need you to do something for me. Somehow. People behind her. I need you to be everyone that's gone. Berengarski is the one who Cortana out. There's a space inside where there used to be a voice. Oh, what did she say? How did you choose me? Well, we surveyed all the children. No. I didn't understand. Yes, you do. And we'll get this answer here. later. I won't dig another hole! What are you doing? Hey, burn this body. Let him find his way. Okay. Hey, stop! Okay, for now, right, John? Chief. Clean his face. This isn't death. This is loss. Put him in the sky. Pretty crazy place to be. What do you want? Good evening. The kid is ours. The hell he is. Oh. Not strangers, we're his parents. Even if that were true. Look like you've been slapped around a little too. What did yeah. you say? They have him. They took him. It's a negotiation. It's our son. I mean, easy to make it violent. You never know when the world's gonna fall apart. I grew up in a place just like this. Town never gives you what it promised. I know what an extra pair of hands can mean. Our boy isn't for sale. See him just to confirm? <laughs> this is not the life where I grew up. I was born in hell, without food, without protection. I realized I can survive all that. Unless it's not the kid, and it's just someone so took the father, home. I'm a boy, the absence of love. In time, he'd find love here. But he's my son. They're super grown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my boy gave it to me. Yeah, I'm for protection. Here. Where is he? Oh. They took him away. It's not Castle. Man, hear that whole monologue. There's a lot more of this. Reach was more than a place. He was born on tribute. I could see he had honor. Wanna say something? His family buried him when he was six. His name was Vanek 134. He was our brother. We're the only family that he ever knew. Everything that he gave, he never dies. The fight is not done. I will find the ones who caused your death. Thank you, Vanek. I'll find them. You're gonna get yourself killed. Gotta I didn't work with that other you. lady. I found you. Left something in you. This has been calling to you your whole life. You can take us to the halo. Put all of that at risk. They can't let you live. I'm already dead. <laughs> Why don't get his armor back? That's all I want. Join us. I speak for the planet. Oh, that's that one lady. I speak for Madrigal. My children are ash. My heart. Who the hell are you? Who are you? You're Quan Ha. You turned your back on us. You Damn. forgot your name. Ow. Do not deny your purpose. Protect her. Protect. All the enemies are in that cave. Did they all witness her just passing out there? Okay, well, she noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a pretty dang good job at it. The green. Eoin scratch. Hak e in a eoni juba. Tra amorio tra bulit. He believes now. I'm trying to remember. Was Arbiter in the first season? Thank you, Cortana. Can I help you? I didn't recognize you with your... You can be a bit emotional. I don't think I understand. Of course you do. We got a lot of kids coming through here. I, I... <laughs> Lady, I, I, I'm just a businessman. He was squirming that if anyone ever caused him pain, there's no telling what I would do. Oh man, he could overtake her. Oh, he actually oh. stayed out. Yes, the UNSC. Oh, uh, recruit him, maybe become a Spartan. Get your stuff. I'm not going to make it. You're gonna be I'm fine. Gonna stay here. It's over when we win. Stand up. I'm going to live. All you can do is carry it. I won't let it crush me. You're all I have left. You're no one now. They brought her. Alrighty, that was episode five of Halo. Yeah, that was definitely a much slower episode than what the rest of the season. But like everything was fast paced. It was 
moving. But yeah, this one, it kind of calmed down. One, just kind of following the recovery of Riz and her finally getting through the surgery and up and running, being able to see the burial of Vanek. But unfortunately for John here, he's going to sit and retire, stay in this little community. It is a pretty nice community. People seem friendly. They adopt kids for good, it sounds like, or it seems like. And yeah, she'll just live out her days with these people, which I kind of agree, especially for the fact that she can't fight anymore, basically. It totally makes sense. Then we also had the whole Soren and his wife stuff about looking for his kid. Yeah, that storyline, I kind of wish that we didn't have. But like, <laughs> I feel like it's like... A, pretty big waste of time unless they follow what i kind of theorized in the episode here like did the usnc take the kid maybe put him into the whole spartan program maybe especially for the fact that soren was an ex-spartan is that the correlation there i don't know but that's the only way that i could think that would kind of redeem this storyline because yeah i kind of kind of don't care to be honest like we see the wife here just turning up making this barbed wire trying to be negan i don't know i get it but eh, it's whatever to me at the beginning of the episode we saw halsey trying to make a deal with that one lady the old leader person i don't know why i keep blanking on her name but i am very curious to see what that deal entails i'm hoping we get kind of more of that storyline more of her interacting with john halsey because yeah that's basically just them two going out. John has this whole plan to uh, take out or find Ackerson and the other dude that did the surgery to take out Cortana. But we see Halsey like, no, forget about them. We need to go find the Halo. And John's not about it. He wants to just get revenge, basically, especially for all the loss that he's dealt with. And then lastly, we had the Quan stuff, which was meh, which I get about the whole burial thing. She wanting to help John very vanic while john kind of has his views about the spartans way of life and giving up their life and they don't need these burials but luckily with the help of the people from this little town here they were able to kind of have a full funeral for vanic and yeah during that we see kwan spazzing out he starts talking to that one lady that we met in the first episode i believe that john talked to so i wonder what that means saying kwan is supposed to be the protector but magical's gone already her family's gone so what the protector of what so i am very curious to see what that means and i hope we get answers to that very soon and i'm just kind of crossing my fingers hoping that we just follow more of the john Halsey storyline than what we've gotten so far. Other than that, that is all I have. If you have any questions or theories, please leave in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.